Hello Dot Hackers. About a month ago, we set out on a goal to add as much Dot Hack animated GIFs over to Tenor. Tenor is owned by Google and is a repository of animated GIFs that people can search on social media such as Facebook, Twitter, Telegram, Discord, and so many others that will pop up animated GIFs like this one you see here. All I have to do is type in Dot Hack and these images load up. But you can do it yourself as well. The program that we used to make these animated GIFs was called Screen to GIF. It is a free program you can download and then you crop out whatever image you want from whatever source you wanted on your computer and then make sure that the file compression was less than 20 megabytes and you could upload them to Tenor. And then after a screening process, either done by an algorithm or maybe some actual human uh, reviews have to be done, we don't know. These images start appearing about one hour after upload. So it's very simple. Like I said, you just need the program. You need a couple editing, a little snipping here and there. You have to cut some frames out in order to squeeze into the file limit of 20 megabytes. Otherwise, if it's more, you might have to upload elsewhere and obviously link it to there as well. But we're gonna upload to Tenor so that way everyone can use these GIFs, not just us. You can use them as well. So, before we begin, we're going to need the program to do this uh, aspect that we're going to be doing. And you're going to need either a video player or an emulator or just use YouTube as your source. And you're going to use this screen to GIF program in order to capture a sequence that you want. The shorter the better, that way you're under 20 megabytes. But you can make all kinds of things such as this from .hack Infection. This scene from Dot Hack Sign. Or even this scene from Dot Hack GU Last Recode over on Steam. And it's quite easy. So let's go ahead and begin. Let's look up an example of what we're talking about here. This is on Twitter. You click on Tweet. Click on the GIF button right here. You'll see some different categories right off the bat, but if you type in Dot Hack, then you'll start seeing the ones that we've uploaded. These are Ovan with Haseo in his glasses, the Grunties from Dahak Infection, and so many more. But you'll also see some other things that other people have uploaded as well. To see the ones that we've uploaded, and to find out what keywords you use to pull these up, you're going to want to go to our Tenor website, which is tenor.com slash users slash network. As you see right here, this is our page of all the ones we've uploaded. It took quite a lot of time, especially the encoding process. Encoding is the process that it puts the files together. And that was a pretty much wait and see what happens because the file size was not determined until after the file was done. So for all we knew, the GIF that we made it was going to be 30 megabytes and we had had to cut some frames out in order to be uploaded to here to Tenor. To upload, you just click the upload button at the very top of the screen. Right here, you can browse for files and you're going to give them different little uh, keywords that you want these images to be searched by. So if I were to go back and let's click on an image, these are the keywords you can type in on the search bar, such as hack, L-O-T-T -T for dot hack, Dungeon of Twilight, here with the word dot in front of hack, dot hack in general, Morel, which is the character you see on screen, Wavemaster, because that's the class that she plays, and Yukata, because she's wearing a Yukata. So if I were to go to here, I have dot hack typed, but if I typed in her name, Morel, And there she is right there on the top right, available to click on and to use. You can do these in comments and you can do them in posts, whichever you want to do. We have these available for everyone to use. And you will see down here at the very bottom via GIF Tenor. So as we mentioned, we use the program called screen to GIF. There are different versions available. You can use it for Windows, 
as a package, as an installer, or as portable. We did portable. It just makes it a single EXE file that's 67 megabytes in size. So that way we could use it wherever. So once you've clicked on which version you want, we use the portable. Then you're going to want to go ahead and open the program. So here we are. Here it is right here, screen to gif.exe. Go ahead and click on that. And you're going to get this little screen here. You have recorder, webcam, board, and editor. If you go to options, you can get different options for recording. Whether you want to do allow single instance or multiple instances. For recorder, the old style or the new style. You could show the mouse cursor, which I recommend disabling this. So if you moved your mouse into the screen, it won't record the mouse movement unless you're making a tutorial GIF, for example, then you might want that to leave that on. But otherwise, you have other options here you can configure, uh, test around and see what works best. So click on Recorder. Now we have a window. Anything within this space from this corner to this corner to this corner to this corner will all be captured. You can use the button right here that says record or press F7 if this window is selected. Now this window will always be on top. So whatever you load, this is going to be on top no matter what. So here is a video player with DAHAC sign on pause. If I click this window around, I can move it right here. And then hit play in the video. And then when I run to capture something, I can either hit F7 or hit the record button. And when I'm done, I can hit F8 to stop. Hit stop. So right here, you see the image and down below. You see all the key frames. If I were to hit play on the bottom, it plays all 96 frames. Generally, you're going to want to limit yourself to no more than 150 frames. So that way you can stay under the 20 megabyte limit. Generally, it will be 20 megabytes, but sometimes if there's too much data, then it's going to go over 20. 175 is really pushing it, but you could probably get 175 frames. But animated GIFs should be shortened by nature. They shouldn't be long telling a whole story. So here we have Tsukasa and Mimiru standing by the chaos gate with their mouths talking. So if I want to end it right here, I could. And you'll notice down below you have milliseconds. 65, 68, 65, 64. And there's a milliseconds in between how long these frames show up. If you go to image, edit, up here at the very top, it says override. If you open up the override window, you can edit individual frames in milliseconds. So let's say, let's highlight them all. And let's take these down to about 10 milliseconds. Hit apply, hit play. And you'll notice the speed is a lot faster. If you want to go slower, let's select them all and let's put 90 and hit play. Now you'll see the chaos gate is moving a lot slower. So what should you do? You could use the default milliseconds that are playing, but if you want things to go a little bit faster, you could do that as well. Generally, I like to select all my frames and then stick with 50, just under 60 milliseconds. And that'll make it a little bit smoother, not too fast. And then whenever you're happy, you can let again, just stop right there and save it, or you can add more. Back on image, you can resize, you can crop, you can flip and rotate, or you can add text. So let's say, here's the text. I am on frame 74 at the moment. Let's set this back to frame one. Let's change this up. 
Size, let's put 36. Text. Board AF. And then hit play, and it's just going to be a little text right there. If you play around with it, you can always add more text. You can do different colors, outlines, whatever you want. Hit apply. Now you'll notice when I hit apply, it only did it to that one frame. So it only appears for one frame. You want to do for more frames, you're gonna want to select more than one frame when you're doing this. So let's do it for 15 frames. Text, board AF, hit apply. And now all 15 frames have it, but anything beyond that, it's gone until it loops back again to 15 frames. So if we go to File, over here you have Save As. So here we have different options. File Type and Preset, GIF. You can change it to other formats if you wanted, but GIF is typically what you're going to want to use. Default is just your default encoder, but you can do different encoders so you can get different compressions or qualities of the image. And you have encoders right here, screen to GIF built-in encoder, but if you want to use your own encoders, you could as well. And different high fidelity up quantization. But here we have some color choices. You can have it looped. If you don't want it to loop, you want it to play once, you can uncheck that. You can have it repeat forever or set how many times you want this to loop. And wherever you want to save the file and then the file name. So we'll put board AF Sukasa. Okay, hit save. And then up here at the top right, you'll see it processing. So it's at 0% and we're gonna wait here for 96 frames. So right now it's on frame three, frame four. When this gets up to 96, it will be 100% done. So overall, this is pretty much the process. And when you're done, you wanna start scanning something else. You can hit the recording button over here on the top left to bring back that little always on top frame and you can move it to whatever you want. If you wanted, you could also switch on over to an emulator. Let's say you wanna record a video from the games. So you can do videos, you can just do actual gameplay if you wanted. So if I were to go down to movie, and let's say, let's pick a movie. Let's do me and elk. If I were to move that screen to GIF right over this little window right here, I can start recording the actual in-game cutscenes. And we are currently at 41 frames. You can do this for Steam. So if you wanna play GU Last Recode, just pop up GU Last Recode. You will have to minimize that to a window mode, not full screen mode, obviously, because it'll be a lot easier to manage. But you can also use this on other emulators. So if you wanted to record something in .hack link, you can use the emulator for that. Or for example, you want to record something from .hack versus, you could do that as well. This is the PS2 emulator, PCSX2. But like I said, you could always go to YouTube if you don't have emulators and you don't have the actual games yourself to play back the emulators through. YouTube would be another resource you could do to make your own GIFs as well. And then it's also functioning in other social media platforms such as Discord. So if I were to hit GIF over here, it says search tenor, type in .hack, and I get the same results as I did on Twitter. So you could go ahead and just select whatever image you want. When you click on it, we saw the link for a second. And then it obviously Discord's built to, to turn GIFs into an actual image instead of just a URL. 
So let's take a look back at our encoding. Our encoding is at 82 frames right now out of 96. Sometimes you might have to change the size of your frame in order to fit the window in. So we are at 91 frames. If you were to do something that you did wrong, you want to undo, there's an undo button. And it pretty much is uses your default keyboard settings. So you, you could hit just uh, control Z to undo things. If you need to make it fit the image, delete individual frames, all right, so now it says completed. So this file is 8.8 .8 megabytes. So this will definitely work for Tenor to accept, but let's shoot something else. So you hit recording. So we have this window again. So I'll go back to the game, hit play, move this window on top of the thing and just hit record. Let's do record here. Stop. Yes. So now we have a recording of Mia and Elk walking towards Kite. You'll notice that the animation was a little bit slow. And like I said, if you were to go to edit, highlight all your frames, hit override, change it to 50, we could speed up the walk a bit to make it look a little bit more natural looking. Other than that, that's all the tips I can give you today. There's more that you can learn as you go, but that's generally the easiest way of doing this. To make awesome looking GIFs. So I hope you've learned something new today and I hope you add more to the Tenor library of animated GIFs for .hack. That would be awesome if everyone were to add their favorite scenes over. So that way, people have a larger selection to choose from. And like, like I said, that was our goal last month. And we definitely achieved that. And hopefully that is a start and hopefully others will also join in as well. That would be awesome. So if you have any questions for me, go ahead and leave them in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them. Otherwise, if you like this video, be sure to hit like, subscribe and join our .hack Discord. And thank you for watching.